channel so today I'm just going to be doing a really quick skincare routine and makeup look just before I have to get in the car and set off back to the coast so I'm going to be showing you guys what products I'm using I'm and seeing what I do when I don't really have much time which is always because Liv always runs late anyway going in and put my face up remembering that it's super important guys when you're putting makeup on that you have a good skincare routine in place as well. Taking the Gentle Cleanse and Tone. One of the best foaming cleansers I've used. It makes my face feel amazing. Gets rid of all the oiliness. Making sure that if you do use a foaming cleanser yourself, doesn't matter what brand it is, make sure that you rub in the cleanser until the foam has gone and then wash it off. I do have a little bit of an oily t-zone and today it's a little bit worse so I'm just going to be taking the Epoch Glacial Mud which is really good at extracting all the oils from your face. blackheads oh my gosh this mud is like not even all the way dry yet and you can see all the oil that's pulling from my from my skin that's so awesome so good oh my god this literally only takes like five minutes to dry too so it's easy to like have Okay, that is done. Now, I was going to try out this Oils of Life from Body Shop. I've never tried it before, and I'm worried that because my skin is looking a little oily at the moment, this is just going to make it worse. So instead, I'm just going to resort back to my trusty moisturizer. So this is an NAPCA moisturizer. It's full of humectants, which retain moisture in the skin, which is what I want. Keep the skin healthy and fresh. And keep my makeup on. And it just dries so nice and that as well not too not too oily like most moisturizers I love it the makeup Clinique super primer so I'm gonna take my stippled brush from elf just a small stippled brush So firstly, I'm just going to go in and do my brows. I am going to be using a really old eyebrow kit that I got from Natio. It's looking a little gross, but the colors are amazing. So I'm going to have to restock up on this one. And I'm just going to be taking a nude brush, which is that nice little angled side. Okay, so my eyebrows, that's both of them done. They aren't very neat, but don't worry, I haven't finished them. I'm gonna go in with the Stiller foundation today, and this is amazing. So the foundation is in this little part, and comes with a little pot of concealer as well. Now, I thought this, was, this concealer was gonna be a little bit too dark to use for a concealer, because I like my concealers being um, a little bit lighter, but it's actually really good. So I'm just gonna go in with my concealer buffer, 142 from Zoeva. I really, really, Loving the Zoeva brushes lately. Just stepping it in there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go in under the eyebrows. This is just gonna make them look really nice and neat. My beauty blender and just see a little bit more of what I'm doing. Yeah, see how crazy and whack my eyebrows up right now. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and blend 
than that. There we go. And now to just quickly bake them a little bit so they don't get cut, caught in my creases. I'm just going to take the Rimmel London Instant Matte Fix Translucent Powder. This one's actually really good. It smells divine. So just a little tiny bit from my beauty blender. I'll tell you the shade of this one. This one is light free. So, it's really nice. Just gonna squash that down a little bit. Silk Finish 102 is a weaver. Small creaky brush, I think. And we go ahead and drop that and blend it in. It does look a little tiny bit yellow. That's what I always think whenever I put it on. It kind of looks a little bit yellow for my skin tone, but then when I bronze it out and stuff it, actually my skin's quite nice. So I am just going to go ahead and say that this is a very medium kind of coverage. I wouldn't say that it's a full coverage at all. I did just build it up a little bit on my forehead, so you can build it up. Um, and I found that it got really streaky if I didn't um, blot it out with the brush. So if I just went and swept it over, it got very streaky. So that's the only thing I would say about that. And then again with the yellowness, and it is very dewy, so I am going to go in with, a, with the Sephora Mineral Foundation Compact. Press that up. And I'm just going to go ahead with the 106 powder brush from the Weaver again. And I'm just going to set that foundation. This is a really good powder for setting. It doesn't add much more coverage, but it is just going to help tone that yellow down a little bit because I think um, I'm looking a bit like a you know, cartoon character. I really am trending towards not really liking so much of a dewy or shiny kind of finish. I really do like that matte finish. So setting my powder in. Don't forget those necks, girls. You don't want your head and neck to look like it does, they don't match to each other. Okay, so that is enough. And I literally used like one and a half pumps and there's heaps of that foundation left. So it spreads out really well. Okay. The Benefit Cooler Bronzer. It's a really cheap brush from uh, Kmart, just to see how it went. And, and I'm actually really liking it as a bron bronzing brush. So I'm just gonna dip it in there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take this on my cheekbones, around my forehead, and my jawline. Tegan Becca palette, which is absolutely beautiful as well. So I'm going to be popping that over over the top of this bronzer. Um, this are my apples, and this is a highlighter. Sorry about that. My camera did just die, so I just had to quickly um, put some charge in it. I don't have much time left on it though, so I didn't do anything while I was gone. I'm just going to take that bronzer there on this condensed face shape brush, just a little bit there. Take it in. Up those corners. Sheer Cheek 172 from Zoeva. I'm just going to go ahead and take this one right here that has my fingerprint in it because I dropped it the other day. So not good. I'm going to go. Now I'm just going to pick up a tiny bit of this blush, literally just the tiniest little bit, and I'm just going to sweep that over my apples and build it back just to give my cheeks 
little bit of a flush. Oh, and whilst I was gone, I just picked up my eyebrows a little bit. Okay, that's it. So I really like this highlighter. I feel like it does take a little bit of building to do though if you want to get a really highlighted look. Um, and it would work if I had some MAC, MAC Fix Plus, but I don't. So this one I'm just gonna... And it's, it smells beautiful. Look at that. Build up my cheeks a little bit. Just go in with this highlighter just a little bit and oh it's actually looking really nice in this vlog oh. what am I talking about but anyway so I'm still going to do that just take it a little bit on the same angled brush just get that uh, a little bit more highlighted thank you But I am going to take my um, beauty blender that has a little bit of the white powder to it and just... I didn't conceal underneath my eyes. <sighs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, how did I even forget that? So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and do that now. Great. This one's like a must for me because I have... Always got tired eyes. So that's just the same concealer that I use on the top of my eyes. This one, normally I do use a um, a lighter one, like let's say the NARS concealer or um, the Too Faced concealer, but because I forgot about it, I guess I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and use the one that was closest to me. <laughs> Blend it out. And then take a little bit more of the bake. Just a little bit. Now for my eyelashes, just really quick, I'm going to lay them, put a coat of ooh, this eyelash treatment gel. So this treatment gel is just neutral eyelash treatment. It's just really good for protecting the eyelashes. And also this company, is designed to help lengthen and strengthen the lashes too, which is really good for me because mine are thin and sometimes I tend to pick them out. So it's just a clear gel, you can't even see how to put this on. But whilst it's wet, it's really good because it helps define the mascara. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Curl and Lash Mascara from New Color. This one is my holy grail. I actually love it. I tried the Maybelline Lash Sensational last week. Really did not like it. Really did not like the brush, the formula, whatever. So I've gone back to this one. Oh my gosh, I have caffeine shakes. Oh my goodness. Okay. Then I'm just gonna go ahead, I think I'm finished. I could have put a little bit of eyeshadow on, but I'm just not gonna do that because I'm in a super big rush today. So that is, oh no. I totally forgot I wanted to use. Okay guys, so that is the finished look. I did um, just put on some Tarte in the, in the shade of Throwback 2. It's one of my favorite um, matte long wear lipsticks. I'm just gonna use this designer brand set in, uh, spray and set. watch my videos then thank you so much if you like this one please um, like comment and subscribe because it helps me out thanks so much guys bye, -bye.